Hi, welcome to the What's Cooking Show. I'm your host today, Joey Quibodeau with Piggly Wiggly and Opelousas. And I'm Chef Jason Hugay from the Steamboat Warehouse in Washington, Louisiana. And today, Joe and I are making a very special treat. Yes, we are. Our second place winner in the My Favorite Recipe contest was Nanette uh, Lalonde. Lalonde. And she had uh, the uh, corn, uh, shrimp, shrimp and tasso corn and tasso soup. soup. And I'm so, excited to go ahead and, and see how it comes out. Yeah. It's going to be fun. And she couldn't be with her here, us today, so we're going to make it for her. And we're going to show you all how it's done in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the uh, set, everyone, when it was cooking show. Uh, again, we want to mention that this recipe is a second place recipe from Nanette Lalon. Uh, she won a $150 gift certificate provided by Logan Farms. Um, there were other other sponsors, yeah, we got Kitchenary and Nothing But Cake. Nothing, nothing But Cake. But Cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason, we're going to go ahead and get this recipe started. Um, Nanette says you put like a, two tablespoons of olive oil, and we can get that in there, and then one large onion, which has been diced up already. Did it before because I would have been, I was crying late last night because <laughs> that onion was strong. I tell you what, they're still strong this morning, so, um, or today, so and you know it's. It was a good onion. That's, yeah. a, that's a good sign. That's what they say. The stronger the onion, the better it is. I tell you what, speaking of that, I cut an onion yesterday. It made me cry for the first time in... How many years? At, a couple years. Two, <laughs> three years. <clears throat> also, Jason, we added um, one medium bell pepper. And we're just going to get a little stir here. Get it going. Very simple. Yes, this sir. That's what I liked about uh, Nanette's recipe. It was really simple, but it... It seems like it'd be really, you know, flavorful too. Because I mean, the everything. ingredients are some of the, some of these ingredients is something that not uh, things that you don't use every day. Mm -hmm. So it kind of sparked my interest as well. Whenever we uh, were, were voting on the, our our um, these recipes mm -hmm. and giving them our our, our ratings, I guess right? So. In fact, we had a lot of really good recipes. So it was really hard to judge everything, you know, because everything was like a different, some kind of unique to it, you know. Everything so. was unique in in one way, shape, or form. Um, last week's um, was very intriguing to me as well with the mm -hmm. sweet potatoes inside of the pork loin the and pork the spinach. Loin. This one was very intriguing to me because some of these ingredients uh, you don't use just on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. um, or don't I actually <clears throat> incorporate them together. Yep. Yeah. And um, sure. I'm a soup guy. So, um, oh, I love soup. I know yes. you are. <laughs> you know I am. Uh, yesterday when we were talking about uh, the show today, um, we were talking about this soup and stuff and my first thought was you have done this show before, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. with a, um, a soup that was very close to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you always had chicken in it as well. Chicken mm -hmm. tasso and corn soup. Corn bisque, yes, yes, that's right. And it came out very, very good, so. Um, yep, it's me very close to pretty much that. I mean, I never really thought about it, but yeah. As soon as Miss Kathy and I talked about it, I said, mm, call Joey. <laughs> that's a variation of a soup Joey does, and um, if I'm not mistaken, you, you, you brought that soup to I um, won, I won a, uh, OC, or was it the was soiree? It, I want to say it was a soiree. I can't remember but which one sure. it was, but we've done I know I, I won it with the chicken tasso. Uh, chicken, no. Chicken corn tasso? No, it's the avocado tortilla soup. Oh, yeah, that one's good, too, yeah. That's what I won soiree with. And then I, uh, I think the uh, chicken and tasso corn bisque, that was with OC. Tastes dinner. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very, I mean, almost... Identical except for a couple of variations, you know. She's using soup and I was using heavy whipping cream, so. Yeah, cream yeah, of so mushroom he, soup and cream of shrimp soup. Yeah. So Jason, we got a, a large onion in there. We got a medium bell pepper. We're gonna put a tablespoon of garlic according to her recipe. And we're gonna get that cooking real good. And at the same time that she's cooking the onions according to the recipe, she also cooks her tasso. So we got two cups of... She's, at this point, she's probably just um, trying to sweat out the smoke flavor of the uh, tasso itself. Which is a good idea. Yes, oh yes. Definitely a good idea. It's already smelling good. Mm -hmm. I know that much. And, hey, while we are uh, cooking this down, we're going to remind everybody at home where you can get all these recipes, uh, all these recipes, all these ingredients. Ingredients for your recipe. For the recipe, which I picked up at the, the local Piggly Wiggly stores in Opelousas, with two locations to serve you. 8410 Highway 182 North. Or? 1305 Heather Drive, and or if you just happen to be in Simsport area, you can go to 16229 Highway 1 Simsport. Actually, uh, get all your good Matt stuff. told me before we started taping that uh, he stopped at our Simsport store uh, a couple of days ago. Really? Yeah. He probably heard it on the show. Yeah. 
<laughs> he knew exactly where it was. That was that was my doing. So Kevin, you can thank me. Uh huh. And Joey, you, you can thank Joey That's too because right. he helps me out with that. Man, it's really looking good and smelling good. And really, it's mm -hmm. not gonna take long to make this. Um, this is probably the the longest part, and other than the simmering part portion. Right. Say. Yeah. The, the very end toward where you're actually cooking the shrimp. So. Yep. But this is one I can't wait to taste. Yeah, this is. Oh, you were talking about earlier about all the recipes that we got this uh, this time for the contest. Mm -hmm. um, the the last contest we had a couple of years back, it was fun as well. We had some very good recipes. Yeah. I want to say there was a venison roast, venison or something. I can't. Mm -hmm. It was been a long time. But this one, I was overwhelmed with how many recipes we got, and just how many good ones. I mean. Yeah, they really were. Different. They were all good, yeah. but man, some of them just really stood out. And make a chef think, mm, man, I might be able to use a variation of this. So, you know, just mm -hmm. to say that's how good they were. Definitely. Some of them are very intriguing. Next week's show, it's going to be a great one as well. I'm kind of excited about that one. That's, um, yeah, I that's am a too. very unique. Uh, it, it looks like it has a lot of skill involved and technical, um, you know, things to do on that one. So definitely. So join us for next week for sure when you yeah. have first place definitely, winner. Definitely. And uh, like we said, it's a very unique recipe and everything else. We're not going to tell you anything more about it, but uh, just it's a surprise. tune in next week. <laughs> you got to tune in to find out. That's right. All right, Jay. Looks like we started to... Smelling good. Mm -hmm. Browning a little bit here. I like this pot. I just want to yeah, say it's. I, li I like that pot, too. Um, one of Miss Paula's favorite pots to cook in. It's, it's kind of a thick base mm -hmm. to it and stuff. And Heavy heats, bottom. Yeah, it heats really evenly. So, yeah. And another thing different, was unique about this recipe is it's got cream cheese in cream it. Cream cheese, yeah. That's one of my, I'm a, one I noticed. I've never used cream cheese in a soup before. I don't know if you have, but no. I've never. So this is it's gonna be something interesting to, yes. to do, so. As soon as I saw the recipe come in, I wanted to try it. So <laughs> today is the day. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I tell you what, Joe, you wanna, let's go ahead and take a quick little okay. break and then we can uh, come back and start assembling the rest of our uh, dish. Sounds good. So join us back for more What's Cooking in just a few minutes. Welcome back again to the show, everyone. What's Cooking show. We are at about the middle stage of our soup. Uh, Joey. Yes. What we're gonna do this time? Right? Okay, according to Nanette's recipe, we're gonna go ahead and add our cream cheese now, and we're gonna heat that up and kind of smooth it real quick, and then we're gonna start adding up our other ingredients. Um, like again, it's just, it's a very simple recipe. Um, it's it just it's starting to soften up already. Yeah, um, I, I just uh, I'm trying to explain exactly you know what caught my eye, and again I think it's because of the cream cheese. I've never mm -hmm. had something with cream cheese in a soup. Like so we said, it's just something to kind of spark your, uh, your interest in yeah, the recipe. Yeah, just yeah. Few of those ingredients, and then you look at the combination of, in your mind, you're thinking about the combination of all these together. Mm-hmm, definitely. And like, again, this is not taking long at all. I mean, it's already. It's softened up already. It's softened up already. Pretty much incorporated. Yep. Well, Jason, while this is softening up, why don't you remind everybody where they can get the recipes at? You can go to kdcg.com. And you get all the recipes. That. That's why I do it slow. <laughs> uh, you can get all these recipes, or if you want to, you can come to Piggly Wiggly or uh, Steamboat and request them, and we can print them out for you. There's so yeah. many different recipes, different categories, so many things you want. You want a salad, you want seafood, you want meat, stuff like that, beef. Mm -hmm. They've made it very easy for you on the website to look at uh, what kind of recipe you want. And over the years, there's been so many recipes That's a lot, added like to over the thing. Over 200, I think. On oh that. yeah. Well, the last time I looked, it was over 200. Probably mm -hmm. more now. Oh yeah, I'm well, sure. There's definitely more now. Just Especially how many more? Now with the uh, cooking contest, is <clears throat> the the top three are in there now. So, mm -hmm. or well, top two for right now, and then the, the other ones gonna be in there after next week's show. They're all good recipes, though. I gotta say, like the um, the ones in the archives. Mm -hmm. Yes. On the website. A lot of them are award winning. I mean, there's a lot of your recipes that are award winning. Mine, yours. Yes. Um, there's different chefs from the soiree who have come and prepared their award winning dishes mm -hmm. on the show. We've so. had Coat Patan with the uh, 
Louisiana Culinary Institute mm -hmm. in Baton Rouge that has quite a few of his on there. And we have uh, um, the people from New Iberia with the gumbo cook-off. Uh, Pin. Pin. And just a lot of people, really. I got to say, it was nice um, this Saturday to see Mark Alamont, who was oh, on this show yes. before. Uh, he is uh, from uh, the culinary school that Cold Patan teaches at, who was also on the show. Mm -hmm. um, and he now owns Hook and Ball in Bruce Hart. Yes, yes, he's so, doing a wonderful um, job over there. It was he nice was, to see him. Yeah, we were, it's always good to see Mark. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go ahead and add a couple more items now, Jason. Um, Rotel. Rotel. Can't go wrong with Rotel. No, not at all. So, <laughs> I mean, Rotel and Tasso always go together. Yes. Definitely. Chicken, too, most yeah. of the time. Put that in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go ahead and... Go ahead, put our corn in now, and then we're gonna wait for our, our other soups. So we're gonna add, according to the recipe, again, two cans of cream-style corn. We had that one block of uh, cream cheese, the eight-ounce cream cheese. Philadelphia. And I, I like to use, especially when I'm using cream cheese, and it, it, if you work with cream cheese enough, and I use it like in my, my dips and stuff, if you use a better quality cream cheese, it'll come out better. Well, yeah, that's like any, you know? any time you're cooking, you know, people ask me, what's a good wine to put in this recipe, calls for red wine or calls for white wine? Mm -hmm. What's a good wine to put in? And I say, man, if you would drink it on the side, like if you would just drink it, mm -hmm. then this is a good enough wine to use. If you put a, a, a inferior quality wine in it, that's what you're going to end up getting. Whatever you put into it is what you're mm -hmm. going to get out of it. That's right. It's not going to become a, a better wine. Once you put it in the pot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. Let's see what you say. If it's not a wine you would drink on its own, don't use it in your pot. Now we got a nice, good, thick consistency here. I, I know we're gonna be probably thinning it out after a while. We got some milk mm. that we have to add to it and um, the recipe calls for some, a half a cup of water also. So it'll be nice and, I don't know, <clears throat> it's not that thick, thick, but like a good consistency yeah. to it. Nobody wants a thin soup anyway. Nah. Unless it's like a vegetable soup. Yeah. Then we can do that. Then you put more <laughs> beef in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Tony Sashri's in seasoning to it. There we go, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. I'll make it two peppers. Gotta have plenty of seasoning though. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you, can you rewind that, Matt? Did he say, I don't want a two pepper. <laughs> you talking about the? I the, did say that because I'm talking about the spice. Godfather of spice me. right here. I like spice, but you know I'm not. It's not I always know Joey's ticket at the steamboat because it says extra spice, extra spice, Get extra ready, spice. Get ready, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a wonderful time Saturday too. Um, you know the brisket cook off and stuff, and that, that was. There was a lot of uh, good entries, and I'll be honest with you. I think the top three, first, second, and third, were the true. First, second, and third. Definitely, and they were, they were what, very 17 good. Seventeen entries. Seventeen entries, and they were all good, but the top three were really outstanding. I gotta, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. that, that, yeah, that number one. Who? But you gotta that have. That was to, hard yeah, to beat. You, you gotta have hats off to the, the people who actually competed, and produced that uh, kind of uh, quality brisket mm -hmm. um, in that little bit of time. Uh, I was concerned with actually having a brisket cook off because brisket. Some, you know, some people cook it overnight, mm -hmm. you know, 8, 10, 12 hours. It's, everybody got a different way to cook it. That's right. But to do it between 10 and, and, and or 8 and 2, I was thinking that's not going to work. But they actually came out really yeah, well. Yeah, they did. And there was a lot of people that had, like, some unique equipment out there. I mean, yeah. the rotisseries and everything else. And That was basically a sight to see, just the equipment that these guys used to, uh, to cook their brisket. Mm -hmm. And, rot like I said, rotisserie. Uh, one guy had a um, an old smoky that he uh, basically engineered this little contraption mm -hmm. and added to it. it, it I, it's kind of mind blowing. It was wonderful, me. yeah. But, I mean, it was a benefit. It was for a good cause and everything, and there was a, a really good turnout. But to see for the first time, you know, the brisket cook off like 17 entries coming in. That's that's yeah, pretty good. I was expecting eight to 10 entries, and uh, we got 17. So that was, was very was really good, very really good. good. I mean, it's just a taste, all the different flavors that people come up with, you know. Yeah. It was unreal, just really, really unreal. <clears throat> so once again, these ingredients can be found at your local Piggly Wiggly store. For two locations in Naples to serve you? 8410 Highway 182 North. Or? Or 1305 Heather Drive. 
That's your that's, that's your store. That's my store. That's right. Or sixteen two twenty nine Highway mm -hmm. One Simsport. Simsport, our sister store. Okay, Jason, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start maybe adding our soup now that everything is. Mm -hmm. uh, the recipe Nanette has, she has one can of cream of shrimp soup. It, this pot is really looking better as we go. Yeah, it is. Better and better. And then also one can of cream of mushroom soup. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna come out really good, Jason. Really, really good. I can't wait to try it. We were so sorry that Nanette couldn't be with us today. She fell ill and she had, was going to the doctor this morning. So um, we hope that she has a speedy recovery. Just as good, we can make it for you. Mm -hmm. Doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> and what we'll probably do. I say we take a break after okay. you finish adding that. All right, we'll do that and then we'll come back and we'll finish adding our ingredients. Uh, Again, which is not shrimp. much left. We got the shrimp and we got the milk. milk and water. Uh, a little bit of water to add. Green onions, stuff. parsley. Yep, and we'll use that for the garnishments and stuff. And we'll have a nice soup ready to eat. Okay. I can't wait. So join us back from what's cooking in just a few minutes. Welcome back, everyone. We are finishing up this uh, soup. And I guess you can call it award-winning soup because you won a yes, second place. Won. So um, I guess let's go ahead and, and finish our okay. last ingredients. According to Nanette's recipe, is two cups of milk. And we're just going to add that in there. And that's going to thin it up somewhat. I mean, the milk will thin it up. Also, uh, you know, once we put our shrimp in, that'll thin it up some more too. And we also have some water. But I mean, look, the milk it really did yeah. good. <clears throat> Uh, that's you probably at your consistency you want to be mm -hmm. pretty much right now once you add the shrimp I think it's going to give off enough moisture to make it perfect so obviously Definitely, she's yeah. obviously she's made this soup before and yes yeah, so sure what she's talking she about <laughs> turn it up a little here and we want to uh, thank everybody that did send in their recipes and everything to the contest and uh, we really enjoyed a lot of <clears throat> recipes in there. As we were talking about earlier, it, even if you send in a recipe and, and you may have not won first, second, or third, it really, really was difficult to pick yes, it was. through all these recipes. It's really tough. Um, we have fun doing it, but it's a lot of stress because you don't <laughs> you know you want to be fair and you want to make sure that the winners are the true winners. Mm -hmm. uh, but man, to, to pick through all those 17 recipes I believe we went through. Yes, definitely. And, um, to actually go through them as with the ones that we did get, it was mm -hmm. tough. They had a couple that I would love to have seen in there as well, but you can't, you know, you can only have three winners. So, that's uh, right, that's right. And again, we want to thank the Kitchen Area sponsoring the show. Nothing um, Bunt Cakes. Nothing Bunt Cakes and Logan Farms. Logan Farms. Thank you all so much for helping us out on this. We Without them, we it. wouldn't be able to do this that's contest right, right. and we wouldn't have so much fun doing it. In fact, if it wasn't for um, the net did win a $150 gift certificate to Logan Farms. Yes. 150 the bucks. How mm -hmm. much can man, how much meat can you buy? Yeah, I know. That's that's you nice know. though. But I mean holidays are coming up soon, so it's perfect. Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Um also our first place winner, they won a five hundred dollar <laughs> gift certificate to yeah. the kitchen area, which yeah. I would have loved. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't know, I know you would have too. But you we, know, we couldn't of fact, do it, so you know that I guess the a, a good compliment would be for those uh people who contestants who actually send in the recipes some of those recipes i actually want to try on my own mm -hmm. not just these but also some of the ones that didn't win so um you know that to me that means you, you have a great yeah have a great dish i mean anybody that's sending a recipe that i'm sure they, they're proud of it and that they you know um really want to share with everybody and you know it's in we no doubt there are a lot of good recipes yeah. in there and then uh I want to tell you, Jason, that I went ahead and added the two Some cups water. of milk, uh, the one pound of shrimp, and a vein, half cup of water, and a half a cup of water. And it's looking like it should be pretty close to what we need. Mm, it looks good. I gotta Definitely. say that. Now, she has uh, green onions and parsley on the thing, so we're going to add that last, uh, last when we plate up our uh, plate. Uh, just a couple of more minutes, and we'll have our shrimp will be cooked, and mm -hmm. we'll be having to go ahead and plate that up. Don't take long to cook shrimp. No. But we, again, we're excited about our show coming up next week because that's going to be our first place winner. Um, 
We're not going to give you no details yet, so you have to tune in and I will watch say, it. I will say the recipe is one of my favorite, in general, mm -hmm. dishes to eat. <laughs> uh, just a different preparation of it. Yes, it's one of my favorites. Something I've always told people if I'm on, if I ever, if I ever find myself on death row. There's a couple of things I want as my last meal. <laughs> One's ball crawfish. Mm -hmm. That is not going to be the recipe next week. But the other uh, I one know what you're talking about. Is, uh, is one of my death row dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and I know where from, from too. <laughs> that's crazy how you know me too well. That's almost too well. I, yeah. How you know me so well like that? That's what good friends are. Yeah, they, know, right. they know each other. <laughs> and you know me and my two seasons. I do. <laughs> now, I got to say this. This did not really take us that long. Like, you know. Um, this is a 30 minute show, but you know, this really took us mm, 20, 23 mm -hmm. minutes to, to make. Yeah, something like that. Not that at all. So, well, our shrimp is almost cooked. We're going to have to plate it up. Uh, so, let me go ahead and start that mm -hmm. now. And I forgot the ladle, but. Don't need a ladle? Gonna, we got a big spoon. Gonna, yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> mm. Looks wonderful. It really Look does. Orange. Now, at home, you could. Probably throw all your green onions and parsley into the, the bowl, yeah. uh, the actual pot. But we're gonna yeah. do it to garnish with. Yeah, a little bit of parsley. Simple. Make it look pretty. And there we go, guys. Miss Nanette's shrimp and corn tasso soup. Our second place winner for the My Favorite Recipe contest. I can't wait till the show's over so yeah, I can so stick can a spoon eat. in it. Yes. <laughs> and again, we want to thank all our people that did send in recipes. Um, Again, they were all very good. Um, we had a tough, really tough time deciding who could be first, second, and third. Very tough. There was there was um, a red beans and rice recipe that really kind of caught my attention. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a bean kind of guy, and the way he prepared his was a little bit different than your normal throw it in and you know. Whatever. Yeah, right. And, uh, he went yes. he went through a lot of great uh, lengths in his preparation. Just to get steps, more yeah. flavor in it and different steps than we would take at home just to make. So uh, that's one that intrigued me. There was a, mm -hmm. a, they all did really yeah, in one, some way, shape, or form, but this one's really caught my eye. So yeah. I will be trying that recipe soon. Cool deal. Just saying. Again, thank y'all all for sending in your recipes and thank y'all for watching What's Cooking Show. And uh, we're going to go ahead and um, let Jason eat the soup and join <laughs> us back next week when we have our first place winner on the show. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be Please it's tune gonna in. It's going to be something special. You know that we can't say much about it because we don't want to give it away. But uh, join you us back for more What's Cooking show next week. <laughs>